Hello, this is John from k5programming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at polymorphism in Java. So polymorphism is a object-oriented concept um, which has a big name, uh, meaning many shapes, which tells you absolutely nothing at all. But it's actually um, a pretty simple concept and it's just one or two tiny little gotchas which we're going to look at. So um, let's create a new class here and um, I'm going to call it plant and um, I'm not going to give it any methods or anything I don't think because we're not going to need it and I'm going to also create a new subclass of plant so let's create one called uh, tree and I'm going to set the superclass here uh, I'm going to click browse and go to plant and click OK and finish and uh, so it's filled in extends plant for me so I've got one parent class plant and one child class tree and uh, actually let's get rid of these files from my last project here so as not to confuse things and um, I'm going to create a plant class so let's have a variable to refer to it and say plant plant equals new plant and tree tree equals new tree. Uh, now what polymorph polymorphism means in a nutshell is that um, if you have a child class of some parent class you can always use the child class anywhere where you would normally use the parent class. So um, let's let's take a look at some examples. Um, if I, let's say I have, um, so I've got up here um, a variable called plant. Let's just call it plant1. Um, if I say plant um, plant2, I could point that if I want at plant1. Um, and that's, that's just because this reference here is referring to an object of type plant. And now I'm saying make this reference here refer to the same object that plant1 refers to. So now I've got two references here to the same object. There's only one actual plant object. Um, but because of polymorphism, um, since tree is a subclass or a child class of um, plant, I'm guaranteed that I can always use a tree wherever I have a plant. So here I could also say tree. Um, and this is polymorphism in, in action. And um, Let's, let's say now that tree has a, a method. Let's give tree a method. Um, let's give plant a method actually. So all plants can grow. So I'll say public void grow. And I'll just leave it at that. Um, in fact, I'll put a sys out in there. And I'll say plant growing. And let's give um, tree also a grow method. So I'll override the um, plant method in tree. I'll go to source, override implement methods, grow. And here I'll say um, sysal tree growing. Um, now if here I've got, okay I've got um, a reference pointing to a kind of plant because tree is a plant. It's, it's a child class of plant, so it is a plant. Um, and uh, if I say plant2 now dot grow, um, there's no prize for guessing which one, which method will be called, the one in plant or the one in tree, but um, by all means have a go. Um, see if you can guess. And in fact, the thing that's important here is that um, the object that plant2 is pointing at is, is actually this tree. So if I say plant2.grow, because plant2 is pointing at a tree, it's going to use this grow method from tree. So if I click run now, um, let's see, click run, it says tree growing. Um, because when you actually run the method, what matters is not the variable, it's not the type of the variable, which could be plant or tree or whatever. Um, what matters is the actual type of object containing the actual code, the actual variables, the guts of the thing. 
um, that's going to run. It's the object that matters. And this object that this reference points at um, is a tree, which is a kind of plant. Um, so um, there's one more kind of complication I think I can think of, which is that um, let's say we've got a method in a tree, like let's say public void shed leaves. Uh, so this method is handy in autumn, um, leaves shedding or fall as you call it in America. Um, so now if I go back to app, um, if I, I can say here like tree dot shed leaves and of course that will just call my shed leaves method that I've just added to tree. So it says leave shedding. Um, but now we know that plant two is also a tree. Um, but if I look at plant two and I try to do shed leaves, I'm going to get an error. And in fact, the autocomplete would have told me that as well because um, there's no shed leaves in this list. And uh, the reason for that is um, that when you're trying to call a method, what matters is the type of the variable, the type of the reference, because um, this, um, if you look at, for example, in isolation, a variable of type um, plant, let's call this plant three. So this is just a, this is just a null reference because I'm not pointed at, at any object. Um, that variable knows what methods it should be able to call if it is pointing at an object. And even if you just do plant three dot, um, you can see now down in here, we're going to have a grow method. Um, there's no shed leaves method because it's a plant, not a tree. So the variable knows what it should be able to do. And this code incidentally is not going to actually work because I've not initialized it. Um, but my point is here that it's the variable, the type of the variable that decides what methods you can call. But as we see here, it's um, when you actually call those methods, you're going to the object, the actual physical, in a sense, object that contains the actual code. And it's that object that's going to run the relevant code. Um, so um, this is this is polymorphism for you. And if you if you think about um, one of the common situation where you might um, want to use this is let's say you've got a public here you know, static void. Um, let's say um, do grow, and that takes a plant. Uh, call it plant, and all that does is so this is a this argument is a of a, of the plant type. So I can definitely call the grow method. So let's do grow there. Then of course I can do, let's get rid of that, um, and um, I'll leave that in. So this code is going to be on caveofprogramming.com and I'll put a few more comments in here later on to explain this. But now I can do do grow and I can, I can pass the, um, quite happily, the tree because polymorphism guarantees me that wherever a parent class is expected, I can use a child class of that parent, like tree, which extends plant. So if I run that, um, it's going to say tree growing down here. Um, okay, so that's that's it for this tutorial. That's polymorphism. As I say, it's a big word, but it's, um, and when you look at it, it's quite enlightening. It, help, it really helps you learn a lot, I think, about um, how, vari how variables work, how references work, um, versus um, how objects work. Um, but in essence, it's, it's quite simple. So that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we're going to look at a topic which is um, very important and again will hugely um, bring on your understanding of references and objects, although it's not that exciting at the same time. Um, we're going to look at upcasting and downcasting. So join me again then, and this code will be on caveofprogramming.com. And until next time, happy coding.